the Philippines, a lot of that's moving. And, and it's going to take them a while, some say a decade, for them to get their English at parity with even the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that this is an opportunity that's there, but uh, perhaps not yet quite... Uh, uh, shall we say, taken advantage of? Absolutely. I, mean, I think that, that more can be done, but, but by the same token, I think the government's done a, a great job mm -hmm. here of trying to get it to where it is right now. It's mm -hmm. been a huge success story. Um, three, four years ago, there was very little uh, cost interactivity going on mm -hmm. here. It's just exploding here right now. Mm -hmm. So the growth annually would be uh, how much? I, I don't have that figure, but it's over 30%, I'm 30 sure. 30%. Yeah, it's, it's, it's substantial. Mm -hmm. Would, though, uh, should the labor pool dry up, w what would the impact be? It well, would mean less, less expansion? Would it mean pull out? It, was, pull it out? wouldn't cause people to pull out, but it certainly would constrict the growth. Mm -hmm. And uh, companies like, like, like our company even mm -hmm. are, are, are strategically looking mm -hmm. uh, long term, where do we want to be? Is there another place within the Philippines? Um, and what are, who are um, our competitors? Or emerging, who are the emerging um, sources? Oh, other countries? Yes, yes. Well, gosh, uh, 10 years from now, it's going to be uh, China. But right now, it's Latin America, Argentina, really? uh, Mexico, yeah, um, even Brazil, believe it or not. I was in Mexico for, for six months mm -hmm. before coming here. Mm -hmm. I had to tell you, and I was on the border with the United States in a, company, a country called Juarez, a mm -hmm. city called Juarez. And the English there is so much, it pales in comparison to the English here in Manila. It, it's so much better here. Uh, so people are going there because they call it the near shore advantage. It's close to home. You can mm. get a, a flight there and be back to headquarters. Whereas mm -hmm. here, you spend a whole day on the plane, <laughs> so it's difficult. Half a day. Well, <laughs> it depends on what coast you're on. <laughs> okay. but, but American companies look at that, and so there's an advantage of going to either mm. the Caribbean mm -hmm. or to a Mexico mm -hmm. um, that, that uh, the Philippines can't really do anything about. So mm -hmm. the thing that... that the Philippines needs to do is continue to, to stress that English, mm -hmm. the, the language skills. When you talk about the gestation period in terms of um, training, how long is that? Is that, are we talking about four years? Well, whole, somewhere uh, like China where English isn't spoken that mm -hmm. predominantly, it's more like 10 years. Yes, but because here. if you're if you're a five or six year old, that's when you learn your English and right. you learn it without the accent. Mm -hmm. If you learn it as an adult or a, mm -hmm. a, 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 a late stage teenager, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to mm -hmm. lose the provincial accents mm -hmm. and it's very difficult for you to, to, to entertain a job in this industry. Mm -hmm. So so the secret is to start out in the early elementary school. Mm -hmm. and uh, So we're talking 20 years. No, 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 no. It's, mm. it, 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 I mean, that's being done already now, but of course uh, we have our own problems in the education sure, system. Sure, sure. But it's not as bad as somewhere where uh, they don't speak English mm -hmm. at all. At Here, all. just about everybody speaks okay. some conversational English, everybody. So, mm -hmm. so that baseline isn't as hard to realize. The delta between being able to be hired and not hired is, is not that terrible to realize here compared to other destinations, mm -hmm. even India, for example. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about RMH and how you uh, are different from other companies in a sense that there's greater uh, career development for um, someone who joins your company as compared to other call centers? Absolutely. That, um, why is that? I, I'm really proud of the, the people that we have. Mm -hmm. We did bring out expatriates, Americans, mm -hmm. early on to mm -hmm. kind of launch this. But, but our growth and our leadership is now being propelled by the, the, the young managers here that we're, we're helping to develop. We've linked up with a, a, a company called May Kay here to help mm -hmm. us um, develop our local talent. We have... Um, so you mean they're not stuck as just answering calls? That's I mean, they're right. They're not going to stay right. there. We're working to, to help them to have the tools mm -hmm. to be great leaders. So mm -hmm. we're taking what's the best in America along with the, the best mm -hmm. Pinoy culture um, mm -hmm. management practices we can put together. So mm -hmm. our leaders here will be able to take the next step and, 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 and carry the weight here. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm very proud of that. I, I think that the thing that we do differently than the other call centers mm -hmm. is we really commit to our people. We, mm -hmm. That's one example of the things that we do. We really put our people first. I think every call center does a good job of looking out for their shareholders. Mm -hmm. Well, most do anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's most, precisely why you're locating outside the U.S. That's right. Mm -hmm. The labor arbitrage, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. And then other companies also do a good job of taking care of their customers. Mm -hmm. Um, the part that, that you also had to realize is you have to take care of your people. Mm -hmm. so, so we do a lot of things to, mm -hmm. to, to make sure that we gauge the pulse of our people to make sure that we're doing the right things. Is turnover very high usually in this industry? 
It's really high, especially up in Makati. It's I, I like, did some consulting. It's like 125 percent annualized to 185 percent annualized, depending on which call center. And we're so well, that's expensive as well. That's it is because you had to train them, and then you right. had to train the replacements. It's, mm -hmm. it's terribly expensive. So that's why it pays for you as well to ensure that they have some. Um, career path to follow. That's right. We're at 85% right now annualized, which is too high, but it's beating the, the heck out of the competition. And we, we expect mm -hmm. to be close to 50% at the end of the day by the mm -hmm. end of this year. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a lot of things to, to find out how to be the employer of choice here. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not going to go out on a limb and say that we are yet, but I'm, I'm certain that we will be. And you're looking to, what are your expansion plans? Give us an idea of how big you will be in we, we have years. very large expansion plans. Um, we, Microsoft is one of our, our, our clients, and they're interested in seeing us have uh, some more work here um, uh, in, in the spring. And it may be that we had to have a different site to do that because we may not have the room long term. What uh, kind of term. work is this? Does it involve? It's technical support mm. for. So you're not necessarily, there are also opportunities for those who are not necessarily verbally skilled in English, but um, you understand. Is that we have a little bit of that. We have another client here, MCI. In fact, we had 25 people from MCI mm -hmm. here um, helping us to launch a program. And part of that is the back office work, um, mm -hmm. where they would do more correspondence mm -hmm. work, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, there isn't as much of that, but, but, but you're right, long term, there could be some back office BPO mm -hmm. type work that doesn't require the Accounting English. work. Exactly. And, and all that. that. That very well could be something in the future here. Mm -hmm. So um, that means that, well, you're here to stay and not moving oh, certainly. <laughs> to, to uh, Latin America or elsewhere. Well, we mm -hmm. probably will be moving to Latin America, too, mm -hmm. um, because NCO has so much, uh, our parent company has so much pent-up work. We have about 50 call centers in the United States, and, and many really? of them aren't doing as well as the call center here because the labor pool here is so, so much better. So in terms better. of efficiency, we outrank the... 50 or so call centers you operate in the U.S.? At parity or better, yeah, definitely. I would say so. And if we had the pool of workers, we, you could bring that business here. Exactly. And, and wow. we're talking about that right now. We have uh, call center work there that within our own company that we want to just bring to here. Well, before we go, let's give an audience an idea of how much. What, what's the um, uh, starting rate? It depends on which program. Some of them are pretty darn easy, and others are more complicated. Okay. So Arrange. anywhere from 14,000 pesos a month up to, to 18,000 pesos a month, entry level. And entry again, level. That's right. And then we have a, a great deal of incentives. We provide uh, uh, food for our employees every day. Um, we really pride ourselves in, in, in taking uh, care of our people. We give a, a pretty mm -hmm. big bonus every year that somebody's here. Um, if they stay, they get a longevity bonus. So we mm -hmm. do what it takes to, to try to keep them happy. All right. And, and lastly, what are the things to remember for the Philippines to be able to, well, I'm looking at the 50 call centers in the U.S. <laughs> 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 that, that NCO operates to, to get them to come here? I think there's, there's two things. Mm -hmm. One, we need to work more closely with the government, I think, um, so that we can coordinate things like, like holidays. Mm -hmm. and, and I'd be remiss if oh, I didn't right. say Eid Mubarak to all of our Muslim employees and your viewers as well for the mm -hmm. participation in the end of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. um, but oh, okay. if we could... If we could if there's some more fixed calendar. Yeah, if we knew in advance, yeah. it would be a lot easier for us to, okay, to make that's one. Uh, for okay. a plan. Um, and obviously the other thing would be just to... to, to See if there's a way for the call centers to link up with your education to, 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 to help earlier mm -hmm. on so that the right. people coming out will be more qualified and ready mm -hmm. to go. So that you don't have to have this, what is that program called again? Near hire. Near training. hire. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Sandlin, thank you so much for your time and more power to you. Thank you. We look forward to more um, call center operation, operators here in ABS-CBN. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Well, we'll have the entertainment updates when Newsnight continues after these reminders.